okay uh, let's take a look on to one simple example of this weld store writable and derived uh, store let's remove this thing we are going to create a store.js file where we can write only the javascript code uh, just all about store store.js okay and here we are going to import things from svelte and here we can import writable and derive these are the two different kind of store we are going to use okay so i'm going to just talk about simple shopping cart simple cart where you are just adding the items and calculating the price okay so what we will do is we will create a two different stores first is items then cart okay and i'm just using writable store there are zero items in my cart this is what it is talking about and export const start content this is also writable so what this store is saying okay i don't have any items in the cart and cart content is empty right now and we can also have another i was talking about the derived store so i have a total price total price means we are we always need to calculate the other store variable to calculate this so i can use a derived because total price depends on the items you added in the cart so where it is dependent on items in the cart okay and what how we are going to calculate the value dollar item in cart and uh, we are just going to calculate dollar item in the cart multiply by 0.5 this is the total price okay we can also export this okay so these are uh, three different uh, variables i'm exporting they these these two are writable store and this is the derived store here i'm dependent on the items in the cart to calculate total price okay now we can talk about component app dot svelte okay and here what we can do is let's import all these things from store okay and what all we are importing oh, i can just get the names items card content and then total price this we are getting from the store.js file okay and we also have item component that we will add and this is our inventory We just have okay all your products i have apples i have flowers and i have potatoes berries and all this is my inventory and i have the component because this is a svelte so here in the jsx in the html template we are going to iterate on to this inventory and we can add all these items because we are going to provide some kind of a cart like feeling where you can iterate onto the inventory and you can add those items so we can use each each inventory as item okay and here this is our each expression inside this we can render a component so i'm going to create item component and i'm going to pass the item here as an item property 
okay so this is how we are going to enter the item component and then let's say these are like like the products or inventory these are the products the, there will be product item component from there we will be able to add and remove things and once you are done with these things we should be able to calculate all these things like okay what is the calculated what is the total price how many products you have added so we can use the dollar symbol there are items in the cart item in the cart so here i can use the dollar it will take care of subscription and everything we don't need to write sub subscribe and then unsubscribe once the component is mounting and then there are cart total here again i can just use dollar that inside this cart total price is dollar total price okay and card content like what is inside card right now so here we can just do a each expression again this is going to be an array this is an array so here also i can use a dollar card content as item this is the closer of this and then here i can simply print okay these all items i have so simply item simple i think this is there is no rocket science here and we are going to create item component so i can just import this item from item dot swelled that we need to write but this looks simple design total items in the car total price from the derived store we are getting and all the card content we are iterating and we are printing the the items here we don't have many items apples and the berries banana whatever the fruits you wanted to add and then we are creating the item component so let's say item dot svelte we are going to write okay here inside script we are getting something from the props so we are going to do export let item and here also we can import things from the store this is the benefit that one store is there anybody can access the store and can trigger the methods so here we are we are going to talk about items item in cart and cart contents because if we are going to add something new into the cart we need to know what is already there in the cart and we can append the new value okay so here we are going to have a function add item that is going to be called from the template and here you can see items in the cart here we are doing actual update in the store dot update whatever the value inside this we don't know there is an x is the value so we are doing x plus one okay cart content dot update so here we are actually doing that state method same we we used to do in the react update and uh, okay we have some content already there what we going to do is spread this content and add the new item so this way we will add this new item that's it so it will actually trigger the subscription and you will receive the updated number of items and uh, the new item value will get added and then just a simple html here we are going to have simple button in this component because this is going to be rendered many number of times add item and this we are going to click uh, we are going to write dom event add item okay let's see how we are so this is going to be add item three times because we have three products 
so when i do add item you can see object pointer event okay let's see what it is card content this card content as item uh card to to i think it is calculating properly but this object we need to get the value from this object what is the value we are adding i think the total number of items in the cart are increasing properly total we need to see what value we are getting in the cart content so we go here cart content dot update so cart content dot update and we are updating the content and adding the new item and the new item is nothing but uh, okay we are not passing the item properly item we already have we don't need to pass it in the dom events i think this is a mistake we are doing item we are already receiving in the props which is either the fruit name i will reload this and we'll see this demo again yes we got it right so i'm getting berries then i added 10 number of times apple that is getting added right so a simple demo which shows about okay how we are managing the store uh two writable store objects and one is a derived which is about total price and you can see total price is getting updated and how we are able to print them we are subscribing them this dollar symbol means it is subscribing and it is capturing the value from that store total price total items in the cart and when you are adding the new item what we are doing is we are updating the items the number of items with plus one and the content we are adding to the array okay a simple example just to explain the concept of how store works in swell js